Welcome to the School Malaise program. This video will show you how to set up a malaise trap. A malaise trap is a standard piece of scientific field equipment used to catch flying insects. The mechanism of insect capture will be discussed later in this video. It is easiest to work in a pair when setting up a malaise trap. A malaise trap comes in a carrying bag with the following typical items. A set of instructions, two poles, a short pole and a long pole, a small bag containing ropes and pegs, two Nalgene collection bottles, and a rolled up nylon fine mesh tent. Unroll the trap and extend the two poles. The short pole goes at the back end of the trap. The back end is the end without the collection bottle chute. The long pole goes at the front. The front end is the end with the collection bottle chute. Let's start with the back end first. Slip one end of the short pole into the black pocket at one of the bottom corners of the back end. With one person holding this end secure, with pole in pocket, bend the pole into an arch and slip the other end of the pole into the black pocket on the other bottom corner of the back end. There is a series of black snaps that run along the edge of the trap material. With the pole arched and secured in the base pockets, proceed to secure these black snaps along the length of the arched pole frame. Moving on to the front end of the trap, repeat the same steps that were just described to now secure the long pole to the trap. Slip one end of the long pole into the black pocket at one of the bottom corners, bend the pole into an arch, and slip the other end of the pole into the black pocket on the other bottom corner. Secure the black snaps along the length of the arched pole frame. Both poles should now be secure to the trap. Next, consider trap placement. Position the trap in a relatively open area so that insects have flight access to either side of the trap. Do not place the trap so that either one or both sides are directly up against a tree, shrub, or building. When you are satisfied with the position, proceed to stake the trap into the ground. There should be three pegs that run along the bottom of each the front and back end of the trap, as well as a series of two pegs along the length of the middle. Proceed to stake the trap into the ground using the metal pegs provided. Make sure that all four corners are extended so that there is good tension of the nylon fabric at both ends and along the middle of the trap. The trap should now be secure to the ground, but you will notice that both the front and back ends are still flopping over. Ropes will now be secured to the trap and anchored to the ground. There are a series of rope loops along the edge of the trap. Focus on the six indicated in these images, three at the front, two at the sides, and one at the back. Starting at the back end, secure one end of a rope to the middle loop at the top of the back end of the trap. Use whatever knot you are most familiar with. Using a metal peg, stake the other end of the rope into the ground about one meter directly away from the trap. With moderate tension in the rope, the back end of the trap should be held firmly perpendicular to the ground. Similarly, tie a rope to the middle loop at the front end of the trap and stake the other end of the rope into the ground the trap should be standing firmly at straight perpendicular angles to the ground. For extra stability and support against wind or other possible disturbances, ropes also need to be added to either side of the front end of the trap as indicated in this picture. Notice that the two side ropes are pegged out beyond the front of the trap, not out to the sides. Furthermore, notice here that the rope loop should be wrapped out around the outside of the pole as opposed to under it. This just adds to a desired tension for the trap to stand secure. For the center ropes, follow the direction of the seam when pegging the rope into the ground. The trap should now be standing upright, secure, and ready to go. To complete your trap deployment, screw a collection bottle filled three quarters full with ethanol onto the trap and tie it securely with the pieces of rope that dangle from the trap directly behind the collection bottle. Your trap is now active. 
Flying insects will encounter the black mesh running along the length of the trap and by instinct, in attempt to go over this obstacle, they will fly up towards the bright white mesh that makes up the roof of the trap. The white mesh will direct these insects towards the trap head, at the front end of the trap, where they will encounter the collection bottle and become trapped. The ethanol in the collection bottle will preserve the insects and their DNA. Thank you and happy collecting!